Hello viewers, welcome to another news about on Germany media and products. We first begin with our headlines. President Adam Mabaro says Sidiya Jata should retire. Two Senegalese arrested with Kenu loaded with suspected drugs. Three more candidates withdraw from parliamentary elections. Gambia Ports Authority interdicts five more as fraud prop weddings. Those were the headlines. We now have the news in detail. His Excellency President Adam Abaro has said veteran politician Sidiya Jata of PDOIS should retire from politics just as his contemporaries have done. Speaking in Gunjur, Wuli West, where Sidiya Jata is seeking the election to parliament, President Baro said the likes of OJ, Usain Dabo and Bakari Dabo have all retired and Sidiya Jata should follow suit. Mr. Adam Abaro, who is campaigning for the NPP candidate in the area, took offense with Sidiya Jata's reported comments that the infrastructure projects in the area are charity for, for 20 years since he became member of parliament here. He did not bring this kind of charity. He is proud to bring this kind of charity that will make the living condition of people better, the president said. Operators of the Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the Gambia Drug Law Enforcement Agency stationed at Bara, have apprehended two Senegalese with a canoe packed with suspected cannabis sativa. The suspect, 44-year-old Dauda Yade of Mbur and 18-year-old Keba Cham of Kampantum in Senegal, were arrested with 50 big bundles of suspected cannabis sativa at the beachside in Bara on Sunday. According to Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the prohibited drugs were wrapped in cement papers and placed in a canoe that was to be used to convey the prohibited drugs. The two suspects, they are canoe, the 50 big bundles of suspected cannabis were all taken into custody as further investigations into the matter continued, Drug Law Enforcement Agency confirmed yesterday. Independent Electoral Commission on Monday, March 28, 2022, announced the withdrawal of three more candidates from the upcoming parliamentary elections, push one to section 51 of the Elections Act. The withdrawal is the second since the Independent Electoral Commission announced the official list of nominated candidates, with two aspirants being the first to withdraw their bid for the parliamentary elections. Pama Kankan, IEC's Director of Communications, stated in a press release that the returning officer for Janjambure Administrative Area, Ahmadu Tal, duly accepted the withdrawal of Mustafa S. Cham, PDOIS candidate for Lower Saloon Constituency, Seluba, independent candidate for Upper Saloon Constituency, and Malik Jase, independent candidate for Lower Saloon Constituency. In another separate development, the Independent Electoral Commission informed the public of the death of Lyman M. Jai, candidate for Gambia for All Party, GFA, who was nominated to contest the Kiang West Constituency sheet, pursuant to success. 54 of the Elections Act. The Commission offers its condolences to the GFA party and family of the late Lyman M. Jai. The GFA may submit a first nomination to fill in another candidate for Kiang West consequency before the second day of April 2022, the Commission indicated. The Gambia Ports Authority has interdicted five additional employees reportedly involved in the duplication of receipts. The authority spokesperson, Yanko Bamane, told the standard yesterday. He said the staff members, three males and two females, were indicted since Wednesday following a board meeting on Tuesday. They included the rating manager, assistant rating manager, and an assistant delivery and documentation manager. Two more supervisors of the delivery and implementation unit have also been placed on the subsection, bringing the entire list of in interdicted officials to nine since reports of the fraud first surface. However, Mr. Mane declined to give details, saying the GPA cannot make a public comment on the matter with the ongoing police investigation. 
In February, sources informed the standard that some workers at the institution's rating unit under the Traffic Operations and Logistics Department were allegedly duplicated receipts and making away with over $4 million per week from 2020 to 2022. However, Mr. Mane declined to give details, saying the GPA cannot make a public comment on the matter with the ongoing police investigation. In February, sources informed the standard that some workers at the institution's rating unit under the Traffic Operations and Logistics Department were allegedly duplicated receipts and making away with over $4 million per week from 2020 to 2022. The headlines for our today's newscast, but before we take a leave of you, let's take a recap on our top stories. Hello viewers, welcome to another news about on Jamana Media and Products. We first begin with our headlines. President Adam Mabaro says Sidiya Jata should retire. Two Senegalese arrested with Keno loaded with suspected drugs. Three more candidates withdraw from parliamentary elections. Gambia Ports Authority interdicts five more as fraud prop readings. Those were the headlines. Thank you for joining us with your presenter Maria McGillen. Do have a nice day.